If Valorant is giving you an error that reads, we're having trouble signing you in, then this video is for you. I've got a list of solutions here that should help troubleshoot the issue we're facing. So, the first thing you want to try doing is giving Valorant admin permissions. And how you do that is you head on over to Valorant, wherever you have that, the shortcut I have it right here. You right click on it, you click on properties, go on over to compatibility, you disable full screen optimizations and you click on run this program as an administrator. This disable full screen optimizations could potentially also help you out and when Valorant's booting up, it can cause some issues if your computer's trying to optimize full screen for Valorant. You can disable that, it should help you. you just click apply and then okay. And that should save your settings and then you wanna boot up Valorant and see if that helps. If it doesn't, if you're still facing the same issue and it's giving you that uh, annoying error that saying it won't let you sign in, We'll move on to a different step. Next on the list is deleting Valorant from your data files. So you want to hold down the Windows key and press R. That'll pull up this little run window. In this, you want to type percentage local app data, just like I have here, and then percentage again. Take a second to write this down. Percentage local app data percentage. You want to click on OK. And that'll open up this window. You want to scroll on down to Valorant right here, and you just want to delete that folder. Then you want to go on over to Riot Games, like here, double click that, and then delete the Valorant, Valorant that's in here. You delete that, then you relaunch the game, and you see if that helps you. It should fix your problem. If not, then you can try another thing. Another potential solution to your problem is allowing Valorant through your firewall. Sometimes Windows is Firewall prevents Valorant from accessing its own servers and causes issues like this, where it's not letting you sign in and or it's causing you lag in game even. So in order to disable that and let Valorant through, you want to head on over to your search bar. You want to type in uh, Windows Defender and that should pop up right there. Best match, just like that. You click on that. It should pull up this window and control panel. You want to head on over to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. You click on that, change settings, and you want to head on over to allow another app, browse, and it should take you to your local to see. And that's where you want to click on Riot Games, Valorant, Live, and select Valorant like this. Click on open and add. I already have it in the list, so it's giving me this error. You don't need to worry about that. You just go on over to allow another app again. You want to go over to Shooter Game this time, go over to Binaries, Windows 64, Valorant, Win64 Shipping. This is the one you want. Click on Open, click on Add. Now again, I already have this, so I'm not going to be doing that. That's what's giving me that error. Now, another thing you want to go on over to is uh, Riot Games itself. You just want to click on Riot Client here. You want to select Riot Client Services, click on Open, click Add. Again, I already have it, so it's giving me that error. It should give you something else. Once you do that, you want to go into your list, and you want to find Valorant, just like I have here. And you'll see private and public. You want to make sure these are ticked. You want to make sure it's, it has access to private and public, both. Next, you want to find the Riot client. Uh, yep, right there, Riot client. There's three of these for me. You just want to select private and public for all of them. You want to make sure that it has permissions. You want to click on OK. And that should be it. You should have your settings saved. I'll show you that just now, as you can see. And that should fix your problem. If not, you can try another thing. I'll show you just in a second here. Another solution would be to change your DNS settings. How to do that is you want to head on over to your search bar and type in Control Panel. Open that up. Make sure your review by is set to category so you see everything like this, neat and tidy. Go on over to Network and Internet. Select View Network Status and Tasks right here. Click on your Wi-Fi. Go on over to Properties. Select Internet Protocol Version 4, this one. Go on over to Properties again. And you want to change your... It will be set to obtain DNS server addresses automatically. I have mine changed already. So you want to select Use the following DNS server addresses. Type in 1111. Then you want to go to Alternate DNS Server. You want to type one zero zero one just like that click on okay close close and then you want to restart your computer start valorant up again and that should fix your problem if not i have a final 
uh, solution and I'll show you just in a second. The final solution I have for you today involves command prompt. And to get that open, you want to go on over to your search bar, type in CMD. You'll get this right here. You just want to click on run as administrator, click on yes, you'll get this window. In this window, you want to type IP config, like I have here, space slash release. Make sure you're spelling this accurately. You want to press enter, you'll get all this techno mumbo jumbo. Just want to ignore that. Go on over and type IP config again, slash renew this time. Spaces and all, just like I'm typing. Enter. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. Then you want to type IP config space slash lush. There we go. IP config space slash register DNS. Just like that. Can you give it a minute? Should do all of its business. There we go. Now, after doing that, you want to restart your computer as usual, and you want to restart Valorant. And that should finally fix your problem. If not, drop me a comment below. I'll try to help you out the best I can. These issues are usually case by case basis. There could be some other error that it's giving you. You can have some other issues. Maybe you're connected to the wrong Wi Fi. Perhaps your ports aren't open towards Valorant. All those issues, just drop me a comment. I'll try to help you out. And I'll see you guys a different time.